Welcome, friends. How's everybody doing today? Happy Friday. Well, if anybody is interested in a delicious one-pot chicken, cabbage, and carrot meal, then stay tuned for this video. It's so easy. It comes out so delicious. You throw everything in the Instapot, cook it for about eight minutes, and voila, it's done. Absolutely delicious and a must try, so stay tuned for the entire video. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Arlene. So today's recipe is going to be an Instapot recipe. And I right now I have my Instapot on saute and I sprayed it with some spray. And what I'm going to do is I have two cleaned and washed and the fat taken off of these two chicken breasts, which I'm just going to plop in here like so. Can opener somewhere. Now we're going to throw everything in the pot and then just let it go and let it cook for a while. Now this recipe actually comes from my sister-in-law Dari. She got it from her sister-in-law Maggie whose husband Mike's family used to make it. But they made it with chicken legs and chicken thighs. But, you know, on Weight Watches, the legs and the thighs are a lot of points, so that's why I'm doing it with the chicken breast. So after you get your chicken sauteing a little bit, now, a very main component of this recipe is a dried vegetable blend. This is actually a Polish blend. Um, I get it at Fine Fair over in Copeg on Montauk Highway, one of the supermarkets. But it's down the Polish aisle. And it's just by, uh, dried vegetables. And she said that's very important for this dish because it really makes the flavor. So we're just going to just brown this up a little tiny bit. You don't got to go crazy because we're just going to cook it all in one pot at one time. I have just a handful of carrots chopped up that I'm going to throw in. Just a few. And then I have some cabbage. Now if you don't if you have white cabbage, that's really what you're supposed to use, but I had a half of, of a red cabbage in the refrigerator that I wanted to use up, so I'm using the red cabbage. Then I'm just going to put in some of these dried vegetables. You don't need too much, you just want a little bit of that flavor. So I probably put about a third of a cup of them in there. Now, if you have nor beef, uh, if you have nor chicken bouillon, you can put that in. I just have these Goya chicken bouillon packets, and I'm going to throw two of them in. Like so. Again, look for these in your supermarket. Otherwise, I believe you can get them on Amazon. So you got your chicken, your cabbage, your carrots, your bouillon and your dehydrated vegetable blend. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a can of 
regular tomato sauce. And then put in a half a can of water as well. You just want to stir this up. My sister-in-law said that whenever she made this, everybody loved it. So I figured, why not give it a try? And also, you serve it with orzo. So I think after this is cooked, um, she's then said to add your orzo and let the orzo cook right in it. But I'm not going to be doing orzo. I'm going to be doing um, the whole whole grain I have elbows or I have just regular spaghetti so I think I'll do that but now the last thing to put in if I can find it is just some paprika I know you don't want the hot you don't want the hot paprika, you want the sweet paprika. So this is kind of a mix between a, a Greek and a um, Hungarian dish. So just, you know, However much paprika you want, just add some paprika. Now I'm just going to close the lid. And then I am going to, let me see. So I'm going to cancel. I'm going to put it on pressure on high. For about eight minutes, that should thoroughly cook the um the chicken so now it's starting and then i'll show you the next step once everything in the pot is cooked now if you're doing this in a regular pot or in a slow cooker you can do this on a in a slow cooker over the course of the day so if you don't have a pressure cooker just put everything in your slow cooker cover it and just let it go all day in your slow cooker. Or you can do it in the pot on your stove on just low and keep it covered. Okay, but I'm speeding everything up by doing it in the pressure cooker. All right, so I just took the lid off. The eight minutes was up on pressure cook on high. And what I'm actually going to do right now is I'm just going to take out my chicken. This is going to be for me for like two meals. So I'm just going to take out my chicken. That's a lot of chicken. It'll probably be three meals. And just a little bit of this cabbage. And some of the juice. And what I'm going to do is I have some chicken legs and thighs that I'm going to throw in here for my husband. Because he prefers the legs and the thighs. But I didn't want all the grease you know, from the skin to be in my juice. And I didn't want, you know, I just wanted it separate. So, and his, I am going to put the orzo and make it with the orzo the way you're supposed to. So I'm just going to plop in. And this is two legs and two thighs. As you can see, they're attached. Now, this isn't supposed to be like a spaghetti sauce by any means. It's just a different way of cooking your chicken. And then you're actually supposed to cook the orzo in the juice so that it absorbs all that flavor and makes a beautiful orzo. And then that's how they serve it on the dish. I'm just going to put this in, put it back on, and because the legs and the thighs take longer to cook because of the bone, 
I'm going to put this back. I'm actually going to put this back on pressure cook. And I'm going to put it for 11 minutes. But I'm going to swing it over here. To show you what I have here. Mmm, smells delicious. I think it would look a little bit better if it was made with the white cabbage and not the red cabbage. But let's just take a little taste here. The chicken just falls apart. Mmm. You guys, it's so good. That tomato sauce with those dehydrated vegetables. And then you get the sweetness from the little bit of carrot in there. And cabbage and the sweet paprika. I am going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to this when I serve it. But I'm actually going to make... Where is my... I have, well, I have whole grain. I either have uh, whole grain penne or I have the uh, whole grain pasta spaghetti. So I think I'm going to go with the spaghetti for this one. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to serve this up. It's delicious, you guys. All right, guys, so I just boiled up some of the pasta, and that is the whole grain at zero points, and I sliced one of the chicken breasts, and now I'm just going to spoon on my cabbage and carrots with some of that delicious tomato sauce. Now, by no means does this taste like an Italian um, tomato sauce. Like I said, it's more like a Polish, Greek type of dish with the cabbage and the carrots and the paprika and the chicken bouillon in there. Then you got all the flavor from those dehydrated vegetables. So good. Just want to wipe this counter up. All right, so that means that my husband's chicken is done. I'll take a photo at the end of how I plate his up. And his, I'm actually cooking the orzo right inside of the juice. And then you, there you have it, you guys. I'm going to give this a quick taste. So if you want something different with pasta and with chicken, instead of doing, you know, an Italian sauce all the time, just make it this way. Throw in some cabbage, some carrots, dehydrated vegetables, that chicken bouillon, some paprika, and the tomato, can of tomato sauce. And it cooks all together. Mmm. You guys, it's so fabulous. It does need a touch of salt. I didn't add any salt or pepper to this. So I'm going to add a touch of salt and pepper. there you have it I don't even know what to call this but I'm telling you I'm gonna enjoy it it's delicious so good and I think the next time because I'll definitely be making this again I'm gonna use the white cabbage I think it'll look a lot a lot nicer with the white cabbage instead of the red cabbage mmm but you guys it tastes delicious I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> well, thanks everyone for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, please hit that subscription button and that notification bell. 
If you like a dish like this, please give me a thumbs up. It tastes absolutely fabulous. And in the description box below will be the recipe and also the link to my Instagram. If you're not on Instagram, you might want to make an Instagram account and follow people on Instagram. I'm absolutely loving Instagram lately. I put a lot of family things up on there, <coughs> especially the new babies in the family and all stuff like that of my cat, what I cook for my husband, you know, because I don't always do him a meal like me. And um, yeah, so check out my Instagram and follow me over there and comment, you know, on my stories over there. I'd appreciate it. Everybody have a great weekend. I'll see you all on Monday. Also, on Instagram and in the link in this description box is the link to my Poshmark and my eBay stores. I'm, run, I'm running huge sales on both sites. So if you want to check out my eBay or my Poshmark, head, head over there. <coughs> I'd appreciate it. All right, everybody. I'm going to enjoy this meal. Everybody have a great weekend, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. So here, this is what the husband's plate looks like with the chicken on the bone. Perfectly cooked. And then I put the orzo right in the juice with the cabbage and the carrots. And the orzo just cooked and soaked up all that good juice. So that's his dinner for tonight. Yummo.